Uh, so, yeah. Hi, everyone. I'm Ryan Gross, and I'm the liaison librarian for the Faculty of Arts, Business, Law, and Economics, which I'll just be calling ABLE for short. So I'm here today to share our story of speaking the language of research impact metrics for the Faculty of ABLE at the University of Adelaide. I'm just going to turn off my camera now. So I'll just start with an acknowledgement of country. Uh, we acknowledge and pay our respects to the Ghana people, the traditional custodians whose ancestral lands I'm currently gathered on. Uh, we acknowledge deep feelings of attachment and relationship of the Ghana people to country, and we respect and value their past, present, and ongoing connection to the land and cultural beliefs. So I'll just start by introducing our liaison librarian team. Uh, at the University of Adelaide. So currently we are a team of four liaison librarians supporting three faculties across the university. So my colleagues are Karen, Jasmine and Vicky, um, who liaise and engage with the uh, Faculty of Science, Engineering and Technology, and also Health and Medical Sciences respectively, um, while I liaise with the ABLE faculty. We did have another colleague um, and liaison librarian, Paula, who was going to speak with me today. Um, uh, however, Paula has been successful in obtaining a new position and has since left the library. Um, Paula was heavily involved in the topic I'm going to be discussing today, and I'll be referencing her throughout the presentation as the work she did was invaluable to assist the library and the faculty with supporting metrics for ABLE. Uh, and since her departure, we have also advertised a new position, and we are currently looking to fill that vacancy, uh, which is just online. The liaison librarians support researchers within the university with finding information, managing their research data, and making strategic publishing decisions. One of the key themes of the library's operational plan is supporting research excellence and impact, and our team has a key role to play in achieving these strategic objectives within that theme and across the research life cycle. So just starting with what we were asked to do, towards the end of last year, we were approached by the Acting Deputy Dean from ABLE about supporting changes to how metrics are utilised in the faculty. The faculty were exploring opportunities to maximise the visibility and communication of the impact of their research by making use of key metrics from databases such as Scopus, SciVal, Web of Science Insights, as well as Google Scholar, Smiago, and the alternative metrics database, Altmetric Explorer. Uh, this task aligned with the strategic objectives of the university around demonstrating research impact. And at the time, Paul and I were happy to be a part of this project since metrics and research impacts falls within the strategic falls within the strategic publishing area of our support. In addition to the project, it also happened to correlate with our liaison team updating our metrics web pages, so it fit in well. Uh, with the services and support regarding metrics because we were aware and that we wanted to update the information that we had around metrics, but also improve uh, the metrics specifically for ABLE surrounding book metrics and NTROs, which are obviously more common in their faculty and can be slightly harder to measure. So before we start, we did have some uh, considerations um, we had to consider. Uh, these included understanding the metrics which are being used by the faculty and within the school specifically. Uh, so to do this, Paula and I attended research committee uh, and group meetings with senior research academics to discover how they currently measure metrics, what tools they're currently using, uh, and what was their understanding of the relative metrics databases. It was a broad scope, which would have a number of challenges, and these did include that some schools had their own internal and external lists, such as the Australian Business Deans Council, um, the challenge of understanding and using the metrics databases, the awareness and promotion of metrics, the promotion of alternative metrics, specifically using Altmetric Explorer, uh, making themselves discoverable on their researcher profiles. And the University of Adelaide Researcher Profile is an online profile for researchers uh, to increase their visibility and also to demonstrate the research they are undertaking. And the final challenge was also support surrounding NTROs or non-traditional research outputs and how best to, uh, how best to use these for metrics. Uh, and we are aware, obviously, that traditional metric databases focus on journal article citations. And in some areas or in some schools, such as law or music, this may not be the accurate or whole um, measure of their research impact. So 
So our approach has been collaborative and supportive. We've been keeping communication channels open. We have engaged and liaised with key researchers and with the support from the academic leadership to deliver information via presentations and workshops within the faculty and across the schools. So some examples of this include when we had the opportunity to present at the ABLE Research Away Day with senior researchers, and when Paula delivered a workshop for the law school academics, and when we also presented at the School of Education board meeting regarding metrics. With this ongoing engagement, in, um, by the middle of the year, we'd gained more opportunities, including uh, to present a tailored 90 minute workshop for HDRs that focused on early and mid career researchers, but also other academic stuff they were interested. Um, and we have another workshop lined with the Adelaide Business School later in the month as well, which will also be tailored to focus on their particular area. These presentations and workshops have then uh, generated further interest with one-to-one -one consultations with academic researchers in a supportive environment to assist them in the use of these databases. And obviously they take these uh, consultations back to their colleagues within the school. Uh, as mentioned before, we've also been part of a team project to update our pet metrics web pages, uh, and this includes uh, providing better support for the ABLE researchers, especially around metrics for NTROs and book metrics. And since our original pages only have limited information regarding NTROs, um, our new pages are going to be have additional information based on the feedback we have received in the ABLE committee meetings and meetings with senior academics from the different schools within ABLES, which struggle with the traditional uh, research metrics. So using this feedback and incorporating additional ideas, we've been working to provide a clearer structure for how the academics can use NTROs, how they can add them to our institutional repository, and how they can also measure their impact. Uh, new web pages will be a place that we hope uh, we will be uh, be a place that we will be able to direct them to in the future as well uh, once they are ready. And so, in addition to improving our NTRO informational web page, we've also been looking at how we can improve our book metrics. And while we have the um, traditional ways such as citations, book reviews, that sort of thing, uh, we've also expanded to include uh, mentions uh, in library holdings. So, if the book is in Trove or WorldCat. Uh, which libraries are holding copies of their books. So upon reflection, uh, we know that working with academics, especially key research academics, uh, has been does help us support in delivering workshops. And we find that the more positive the engagement results in them utilizing our support more, and they have an understanding about what we can offer them and the school. Further reflection has encouraged us to tailor our delivery of workshops and sessions to different schools, and they know that we can do the basics and help them with SciVal and Scopus and can help them with benchmarking or generating specific metrics when they are going for promotion for grant applications. We also noticed that we had to be agile in finding opportunities to meet with academics and deliver at workshops. And so an example of this was the, as mentioned before, the 90-minute HDR workshop that Paula and I ran uh, that was set up by a faculty leader for research and after having a discussion with them about what we could deliver, the academic and his team set up the event, booked the venue and set up the event invitation and even provided a pizza lunch afterwards, which allowed us to network with the other academics who were at the meeting. Uh, the workshop was also well attended, very effective. We had lots of questions asked, and we aimed to make it as interactive as possible, making sure those who were attending could sign into the databases that we were demonstrating and obviously pausing to answer any questions that they did have. This workshop was, for some, their first step into metrics, and, and they'll be able to use the knowledge gained going forward with their research career. Another example is um, the Research Away Day. So after presenting at this event, we were approached by a number of the senior research academics within the school who chatted about possible teaching sessions and workshops with their particular school regarding metrics and having them tailored for them. This was invaluable because it gave us the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one discussions with academics and informal chats and then followed up with emails regarding dates about when we could possibly deliver the workshops. Um, and as you know, academics are often quite busy. Uh, so we did find meeting them in person and having that quality 10-minute discussion was very effective and able to get uh, get uh, future workshops organised and booked with them. So our next steps uh, are to maintain the relationships developed with the schools and academics, uh, which can be achieved by continuing to attend research committee meetings, school meetings, and also working with uh, academics one-on-one -on -one and through consultations. Uh, we'll need to update our metrics web pages as well, as we've informed uh, the faculty about these, and we believe this will be an invaluable tool with, for the academics who we've been training. Uh, 
We'll also need to recognise and acknowledge that there will still be some challenges for the schools, especially regarding NTROs. And remember that not all metrics are measured in the databases, um, such as in law, for example, where you have parliamentary and judiciary commentary. So just to sum up now, uh, we need to stay engaged with the key academic staff. We'll need to continue to make connections at the committees and be available to deliver tailored workshops. Uh, from the workshops, we've been able to have the follow on one-on-one -on -one consultations and requests uh, requested. And so far this approach has been working really well and we are getting more interest from senior researchers and from researchers overall. And finally, we, need, uh, we recognize that this is also an ongoing project for us. And we will continue to change and adapt to the needs of our researchers as part of our, our commitment to the library's strategic objective of supporting research excellence and impact in the university.